in this video we are going to learn how to design a counter for a given sequence so consider this given sequence as 0 1 3 5 6 on seeing this sequence we can understand that we require three bits in each state because 5 1 6 requires three bits and we are assuming that we are using t flip flops here so present state is considered as uh, 0 to 7 but if you consider uh, the sequence we don't have 2 4 and 7 here so in the next state for 2 4 7 we'll give blank and so for present state 0 we'll get next state as 1 for present state 1 we'll get next state as 3 for present state 3 next state is 5 for present state 5 next state is 6 and next state for 6 is 0 so using the present state and next state we can get the flip flop inputs ta tb and tc so if you see uh, to get ta present state and a in present state and a in next state is considered 0 0 so ta is 0 similarly 0 0 is ta is 0 0 1 ta is 1 1 1 ta is 0 and 1 0 ta is 1 similarly we can get the values for tb and tc like this now the next step is to get the expressions for ta tb and tc ta we know that uh, 2 4 and 7 are don't cares and uh, ta is 1 in the case of 3 and uh, 6 so 3 and 6 we are giving 1 and mapping goes like this and we can get the expression for ta as b and in the case of tb uh, tb is 1 in the case of 1 5 and 6 so tb mapping goes like this and tb is b plus c then tc tc is 1 in the case of 0 and 5 so 0 and 5 will become 1 2 4 7 are don't cares and tc expression is a x nor c so using those expressions for uh, ta as b tb as b plus c tc as a x nor c we can construct the circuit like this